Toward the end of World War II, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt said this about the Corps. The Marines I've seen around the world have the cleanest bodies, the filthiest minds, the highest morale, and the lowest morals of any group of animals I've ever seen. Thank God for the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> I joined the Corps shortly after high school. At, at 18 years of age, I knew how to have fun and get in trouble, but little else. That changed when I passed through the great gate at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot in San Diego. My new and very different life had started and I'd never be the same. They shaved our heads, they gave us two pair of dungarees and a pair of boots, boondockers, and a few days later we got our rifle. Our drill instructor, Sergeant Lorries, a survivor of the fierce battle at Chosan Reservoir, preached to us, your rifle is your best friend. Keep it clean and treat it like a family heirloom. Every Marine you see is first and foremost a rifleman. Boot camp is running, running, and more running. There are endless drills and work details, and double, double time is the order of the day. The only time they allowed us to stop running or working was when we were eating, sleeping, or sitting still for a demonstration. A few weaklings were deemed unfit, and they were sent home early. The rest of us had no choice. To be a Marine, you must survive boot camp. The Corps has been making men out of boys for two centuries, and boot camp has always been tough. Brutal is not too strong a word, but there have been times when a drill instructor has gone too far. These cases, fortunately, are the exceptions that prove the rule. The Marine Corps makes men out of boys, and boot camp is tough. It's not for everyone. On the final day of our training, Sergeant Lorries grinned and gave us a compliment. I never thought I'd be able to say it, but you shitheads are now United States Marines. Welcome aboard. Later that day, we marched in the graduation parade. My heart filled with pride and I teared up when the band played the Marine Corps hymn. We passed in review and our commanding officer saluted us. Saluted us. It was now official. I was a United States Marine. I served my three years, almost half of it in Korea, and I mustered out in North Carolina and returned home to Arkansas. Now, more than 60 years later, I, like Mrs. Roosevelt, thank God for the United States Marine Corps. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Semper Fidelis.